Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you a bit more about Wiccan Tools and then I'll be following this video with my start on the talk on the tarot cards where I'll be showing you each tarot card individually, describing them, what they mean and then eventually when I've shown you all them I will do a few spreads and show you the different spreads you can do. So anyway, here I go with the Wiccan Tools. Since water and salt are almost always used in casting spells, you may want to have two special bowls for this purpose. So I use two identical crystal bowls, but I don't keep them with my altar all the time because I use them in the kitchen as well, so they're downstairs. Which is also often have a special bowl for making offerings to the god and goddess. So you, you can have three, four different bowls that you use on your altar or when you're doing rituals, so it's up to you. Some people use a cold and swim. Next one is a bell. A bell or a gong can be kept on the altar and rung to banish spirits, entities, negative or anything else. It can also be used ceremonially to indicate the right ritual is being beginning or ending. Whether used, you make, your, make of your own bell. Remember the old saying that you cannot unring a bell. A necklace. Priestesses sometimes wear a special necklace inside the circle. This necklace is the circle of rebirth, a sign of the goddess. It's traditionally made of alternating jet and amber beads. You can select any sort of necklace that has meaning for you. Um, I either wear my pentagram, which I've got on now, or I have a choker with black beads and a little moon on which I love, but today I thought I'd just wear my little pentagram, so, and I have blessed these as well, so, this. Um, cords, sultry witches don't need these unless they are for cord magic or not magic, usually made of silk and nine feet in length, cords are used by some traditions in coven work for binding, initiations, control, taking someone's measures. There are initiation ceremonies, ceremonies which in voice are literally bound, sometimes naked, to the altar. This is supposed to be a solemn symbolic religious act and no doubt has ancient origins. It seems darkly sexual though, do it to me. So there you go, they're the few tools I wanted to talk to you about. If it sounded a bit funny I'm sorry because I'm a dyslexia again. Apologies to everyone. Oh, after this one I will be posting a video on tarot cards so I hope you enjoy all my videos and keep subscribing and leave any comments you want. Bless me.